supporting our priorities. Your Excellency, we have a shared history and a unique friendship that will continue to grow from strength to strength. So I'm always keenly aware that its development cooperation with Aotearoa New Zealand and its other development partners is more as an equal partner and much less as a dependent. I wish Your Excellency Dr. Richard Davis and your delegation an enjoyable visit to Samoa, in particular your time in Savoy to celebrate with us our 60th independence anniversary and for your excellency witnessing the peace and beauty of Savoy. So if you want, God bless. Your Highness, good morning. Thank you for inviting me. To start my visit to the Samoa here at your beautiful residence in Vailuwa. Congratulations on your recent appointment to the role of Head of State and your appointment also as Chancellor of the University of the South Pacific. I'm honoured to be in Samoa while your country celebrates to me. Week and Samoa's unique culture. The beautiful singing last night was evidence of that. We left, and I said, I've seen people so full of joy and so proud of what we do. That's what we witnessed. That's a wonderful example. The bonds between our two countries, as you say, are underpinned by the Treaty of Friendship, and they are vibrant. The motto for the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations, who are mine, or lifelong friends describe not only our diplomatic ties and relationships but also the strength of our people to keep their lives. I'm privileged to be patron of two organisations that embody the lifelong friends motto, Volunteer Service Abroad and the Fred Hollows Foundation. VSA brings our two peoples together to achieve great things for the community. Like Samoa, VSA celebrates its 60th anniversary this year. Over six decades, more than 340 volunteers have supported Samoan communities in areas such as education, agriculture, and public service. The Fred Hollows Foundation has also played a supportive role for doctors and nurses in Samoa, in providing much needed eye care throughout the community. The Foundation changes lives, and I'm delighted that I'm going to see some of their work while I'm here in Sunday. Finally, Your Highness, I acknowledge the impact of COVID-19 on some. During these uncertain times, the leadership and the people of Samoa have shown that diligence and cooperation can achieve enormous things. And thank you for your kind words about the work that I'm telling you to play in support of your Highness. Your Highness, thank you again so warmly for hosting you today and for taking such care of us. So for your money, 